time position velocity. How to conclude from the graph whether the object is moving with a constant velocity or speeding up or slowing down? I hope by now you have understood that velocity is rate of change of position with time, right? So I'll draw three different graphs here and then we'll figure it out how to find whether it is constant velocity or it is speeding or slowing down, right? So, so basically I'll draw three time position graphs. So this is the first one here, the second one will be drawn here and then the third one here, right? So I'm not giving any scales, right? We'll assume that we have time along the x-axis and distance along y-axis, right? In all the three cases, time is the independent variable. So time will come on the x-axis and distance is dependent on time. So it will be along the y-axis, correct? Right? So let me make a graph like this, a straight line. And then I'll make a graph like this, kind of like this, okay? And a graph like this. Now we'll analyze these graphs and see which one represents what. And I think you can guess it, right? So take a good guess and reason it out for yourself. Here is how I will try to analyze it. The very first one. Here if you see, rate of change of distance with time is same, you see, in every unit. these are all similar triangles right so the ratio of rise over run is same correct so this gives you constant velocity so we say slope is constant right they are all similar triangles if you draw like this correct so it is constant velocity Right. Now, <clears throat> in this case, if I draw triangles at equal intervals of time, then what do you notice? You see, rise over run. You see, rise is decreasing as we move along. Do you see that? Rise is decreasing. Therefore, slope is decreasing, correct? If slope is decreasing, then velocity is decreasing, correct? And if velocity is decreasing, then we say that the object is slowing down. And it's very clear from this, correct? Now, if we make these triangles here, let's say we divide like this. I'm making bigger units here. So, let's say that these are my units, right? These are my same time. I'm taking the same time, right? Now, if you see, this triangle is very small. It's slightly bigger, slightly bigger, much bigger. So, rise over here is much more, right? So, we say that the slope is increasing, right? And since slope is increasing, velocity is also increasing. And since velocity is increasing, the object is speeding up. So that is one way of looking into the graph and figuring out whether it is slowing down or it is speeding up or it is moving at a constant speed, right? The other one is that if you consider different points on a graph, then at each point you can draw tangents, right? So if you draw a tangent on the straight line, it will be same at each and every point, right? So we see that the slope of the tangent, so second way of figuring it out is to draw tangents, right? So tangents will give you slope on the curve at any particular point. It gives you instantaneous velocity at that point, right? 
So, if I draw a tangent, let's say, if I draw a tangent here, it will be along this line. And so, the slope will be same as the slope of the line. So, tangent is constant. So, we have a constant velocity. Now, here if you see the tangents, this slope, this is a tangent here, and the tangent here will be kind of like this. Slope of the tangent is much higher initially, and as we move along, it decreases. Since slope decreases, slope of tangent, right? Second is slope of tangent. It decreases. Since it decreases, velocity decreases, and that shows slowing down. Here, the tangent is almost zero here, right? And then it increases. It increases, and it increases further. So we see slope of tangent increases. Increases, right? Here, the tangent decreases, right? Here, the tangent is constant. It's same all over, right? So since the slope of the tangent increases, velocity increases with time, and therefore the object is said to be speeding up, correct? So these are two different ways in which we can explain whether the object is moving along with a constant velocity or speeding up or slowing down, correct? Now, second is, and the third one, which you can see from the curve itself, if it is a straight line, then it's always constant, and it is concave down. Do you see the curve is concave down, and this is concave up, concave up, right? So if the sh shape of the curve is concave up, up, then it is speeding, right? Then I should write here speeding. And if the slope is concave down, then it is slowing. And if it is a straight line, then you know it's constant velocity. So that is how we can analyze our time position graph and figure out whether the constant, whether the velocity is constant or velocity is increasing or velocity is decreasing, correct? So to summarize, if in a position time graph, we get a straight line, then the velocity is constant. If the curve is concave down, then during that portion of the curve, the object is slowing down, since we see that the slope decreases as we move from left to right. If the shape of the curve is concave up, then during that portion, the velocity is increasing and the object is speeding up. So this is a very easy way to figure out from the graph whether the velocity is constant or it is changing, changing in which direction that means speeding up or slowing down. I hope the concept is absolutely clear to you. Thank you.